I feel very burnt. Because I want to be there for the mamas and the babies. Ooh, hello and good morning. Welcome to this. Ooh, let's make sure you're clean, actually. Hey everyone, good morning. Welcome to this week's vlog. It is currently Monday. It's March 8th. It's my dad's birthday. It's also um, International Women's Day. So let's celebrate some women today. And this whole month is um, Women's History Month. So yay for women. Um, yeah, it's currently 1.44. Um, this morning I worked on Anki and I had a surgical... Oh, surgical. This morning I had a suture competency. So let's rewind to the footage from that. Okay, so we just finished our suturing competency. It was very nerve wracking to do it in front of a surgeon, so my hands are still shaking. But we did a subcuticular running suture, or running subcuticular suture. You can see them. They're not that straight across. I was pretty nervous. Um, but yeah, and then I have a interrupted one right there. Also, I just noticed that there's real blood, dried blood on my suture board. <laughs> what? This is fake. How did this happen? probably that it really brings this to life you know yeah so that was my suture competency it went well thank god it's over in not last week's video but two weeks ago um the back in person vlog some of you are asking why i'm wearing my mask in my car why am i wearing um all of this stuff inside um because i'm vaccinated um well just because i have the covid vaccine does not mean that i'm fully protected and also so we can meet in person here um, I am required to wear my mask to this facility and then wear all of this stuff. It's part of the guidelines. Um, I don't know if it's set by California or not, but somebody told them, the school, that we have to wear all of this in order for us to be able to practice here for hands-on. And so we are following the rules because we would like to learn our hands-on stuff. But today in CMR, we are doing um, vein puncture. Um, but I will tell you how it goes. This is my first time doing any sort of vein type thing. So it should be fun. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we are done with our in-person stuff and now I have to go home and board study. We did the um, vein puncture today, but we didn't do it on each other because that is a county facility that we're in. And so something about the liability of something were to happen to us, they we just couldn't do it in there, puncturing skin, which is unfortunate, but I'm sure I will have many opportunities in the future to pierce some skin. So. Um, we got as much exposure as we could to it. We ran through and did a little competency thing to make sure that we knew what we were doing, the whole procedure and all that good stuff. So that was actually pretty cool. Um, now I'm gonna go home and I got a shower, eat, study, get to work, all that good stuff. I just want to sit down here for a second. It's currently nine o'clock. I know, where the heck did the day go? I'm asking myself the same thing, yet I've been going nonstop since I got out of class today. Because it's, hi, what happened? Okay, where was I? Oh my God, ugh. Okay, so, um, my brain. So we all work so freaking hard and that's what I love so much about this community is that we work so hard and we always say that like keep continue to work hard and all that good stuff. Working hard comes with a price and we need to kind of sit back and take time to reflect on what that price is. Are we still taking care of ourselves? Are we taking showers? Are we checking in and making sure that we're mentally or physically or both? Are we okay? And are we doing the things that we need to do to make sure that we're okay up here and all in here um, while we're working so hard? And we take on so many tasks. I try not to speak for all of us, but in a way, I feel like we are all so freaking similar. And that's why I love all of you so much and how we're able to connect is because we're all so similar. We all work really hard and we all take on so many tasks because that's just how we are. That's in our nature to just 
like, oh yeah, I'll do this, I'll do that. We, we wanna help people, we wanna help ourselves, you wanna get further in life and, and we have this future, we have this goal and we will just do whatever it takes and we'll load it all on our plate and we'll just, okay, like I'm gonna take bites here and there and I will end up finishing my plate. But you forget about yourself and I forget about myself all the time. And um, I just had to like check in today because I've been putting it off processing this aspect of my life, but I feel very burnt. I felt like this a few months ago and I am feeling it again. And I didn't want to say it out loud or admit it to myself because I don't want it to be true because this is not the time for me to be burnt. We're going into dedicated soon. I just didn't want to acknowledge that I'm burnt as heck right now. I'm toast, I just, I'm charred and I don't taste that great. That's just how I feel right now. By all means, a disclaimer, I love my life so much. I love all of the things that are going on in it. I love everything about my life. I just wish that there were more hours in the day. I wish that I wasn't so tired. I wish that I could just keep going and be a superhuman and finish everything that I need to finish, but I just noticed lately at least that my to-do list gets longer and longer and I get less things done each day. I don't wish that I had less things to do, I just wish that there were more hours in the day. That says a lot about me. I know that a lot of you feel that way too. That's just how we are. We still wanna get everything done. We don't really care how many tasks we have on our plate as long as we get them done and then we feel accomplished, we feel good, yeah. Hopefully that resonated with at least one of you. I know I know that I'm not the only one feeling this way, but uh, trust me, I am right there with you. And uh, yeah, um, although my life may seem like it's put together or that I'm superhuman and I'm productive all waking hours of the day, lately it's been a no for me. So that's okay. It's We're all human and we're just doing the best that we can. And yeah, I have a lot of things to do the rest of the night. I will talk to you in the morning because uh, I just need to do the things, you know? We gotta do the things, do the things. And yeah, see you in the morning, okay? All right, good night. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't wanna go in there. I just want to do Anki in my bed and have my messy hair. Uh, I'm so tired, y'all. I'm just, I'm not tired. I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm, I'm just, what am I? Who am I? I just want to be productive, but I don't feel productive when I come here because it's such a big chunk of the day. I gotta remind myself like why the heck I'm doing this. I wanna be with all the babies. I wanna be with all the mamas and help mamas and babies. I wanna do that, that's why I do this. This is why I get up, this is why I study all day. Cause I wanna be there for the mamas and the babies. This is all worth it. It's all worth it to just save one mama and save one baby, deliver one baby, be there for mom. It's all worth it. I just have to get there. It's foggy. Okay, I need to get in there and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. I'm so tired. Hello. Hi. Um, I'm home now. It's almost one o'clock. I have a lecture, I think, from one to two or one to two thirty or one to three. I don't really know. We have a competency tomorrow for CMR. We know who's gonna be getting free healthcare today. Happy little volunteers. You you guys have been lazy. You're gonna be put to work. Sorry. For those of you who don't know or are new here, um, Winnie the Pooh has gotten free healthcare for me for most of my first year of medical school. And I used him as my patient for OMM and also for CMR, all the physical exams. He knows the drill. This is loperamide, my old roommate Y. He got this for me for Valentine's Day. Um, loperamide is a sketchy reference. You are my victims. You love your job. You love helping me.
Hello, welcome to today. It is currently Wednesday. It is March 10th and it's 1149 in the morning. Today I have my competency for our clinical skills lab. We uh, will be asked to do two physical exams. One will be um, a musculoskeletal complaint and then we'll be asked one of the following. Cardio, renal, rest, endocrine for the thyroid, endocrine diabetes, a diabetic annual foot exam, I say GI, and neuro. I came here early because I'm going to practice with my partner a little bit. I practiced a lot last night and this morning because there's just so many components. Hi there. Hi everyone. What's up? Um, it's much later and I'm currently editing the vlog that you are watching. I noticed while I was editing this video that um, I look very tired. Uh, my attitude or behavior is just very sluggish and tired. I am burnt. I was burnt in that video. I am still very burnt and I feel like I'm just getting to that point with Dedicated coming up that this is going to be my baseline for the next few months until I take my board. That's just something that I'm going to have to accept. And that constant stress and the constant weight on your chest, knowing that every waking moment, I should be setting for boards. I can be setting for boards. That's not a healthy mindset and I need to knock it off. It's a weird place to be in and it's just a icky feeling. My best advice, if you're in the same position or if you're in a similar position, remind yourself why you're doing this. I'm reminding myself that I will be that ob guy. I will be um, delivering babies. I will be with mom. I will make it the most special time, the most special moment for her because that's her day and that's her baby's day and this is the first time that we are experiencing that moment together. That is what keeps me going. I love you all so much. I want to just say thank you so much for your endless support. It means so much to me. But yes, thank you so much for watching this week's vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment down below if you want. Comment down below something that you're going through, something that you need help with. Um, this is a safe space for all of you to work through things that are going on in your life. And there's no judgment. And we're here to help each other. We're here to support each other. Our herd is here for you. And don't forget that. So I love you all so much. And as always, take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Continue to work hard. And all of that good stuff. Okay. Goodbye. I love you. And hopefully, I'll make it out of one piece. Or maybe two. And if I don't.